everybody. Thanks for coming out tonight and supporting. It's great to see you out here. The first thing I want to do, get it out of the way, get that big fucking elephant out of the room. I want you guys to know I'm a 20-year veteran of the adult industry. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. And I'll tell you, I got the stretch marks around my mouth to prove it. So, you know, if anybody's questioning it, let me know. And another thing, this face in 20 years has had so much come on it. I mean, I'll tell you ladies, if any of you ladies out here, it's, this is good advice, I'm telling you from somebody of 20 years, start taking the cum shots on your face. Yeah. Tell your man I want cum shots on my face, it's the best anti-aging product you can get on the market. You know, you let them come on your face, then you rub it in a little bit, you let it sit there like a mask, and then you wash it off. And I'll tell you what's gonna happen. In 20 years, you're gonna look at yourself in the mirror, and you're gonna say, oh man, that fucking porn bitch was right. <laughs> So, you know, like, and another thing about the cum, because you know, I hate wasting cum. <laughs> another thing that's really good is if in the morning, you know, you give your man a blowjob, and then you go ahead and let him come in your mouth and you swallow it. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, you like that. I, I had a feeling. I love swallowing. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why you look so healthy. <laughs> because it's, I mean, let's face it, is it not the best protein shake you're going to get all day? It is, it tastes good. Oh yeah, it tastes delicious. I'll tell you what, <laughs> fucking Jamba Juice has nothing that compares to a full mouth of cum. Yes. Right? Right? So ladies, again, I'm telling you, best protein shake every morning. Your man's going to love you for it, and you're going to love you for it. <laughs> so, um, being in the industry, this was back in the 90s, of course, you know, they considered me the anal queen. Because I did, a, I, let's face it, I did a lot of anal sex. Woo! You know, that was the thing. And the one thing about doing a lot of anal sex, I got nominated for best anal. Do you know what it takes to be nominated for best anal? <laughs> Let me tell you. It's not using a small Asian penis. <laughs> I am talking about 14 inches of hard cock going in your ass for 20, 30 minutes, non-stop. You've had anal. You know, I can tell you've had anal. And you know what? And don't worry about it. And you know, people used to tell me, Rebecca, you have too much anal, you're gonna have to wear a diaper when you, you get over. <laughs> well, that's a bunch of shit. Because I'll tell you, my asshole is tighter than it's ever been before. So don't listen to them. Just keep on going with that anal. It's very good for you. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay, so um, another thing I want to talk about is, I don't know, probably not everyone in here knows what a suitcase pimp is. No. Right. So, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna make a comparison between the pimp and the suitcase pimp. Now with the pimp, and you know it because you look like a pimp. <laughs> with the pimp, you know, the pimp comes up, smacks his girls around, right? Right? And then you take their money. And they don't do anything unless you tell them to do it. Right? Yeah, you know it's right. <laughs> so with the suitcase pimp, it's more like I smack him around. You know? That bitch combs my hair, he shaves my pussy when I needs to, I send him to the store for douche, enema, whatever I need, he goes and gets it. Another comparison, like I said, you take the bitch's money, right? You take their money, you smack them around, take their money. Now with the suitcase pimp, he has to ask for money. And he'll come up to me and say, you know, oh, can I have $20 to go buy a pack of cigarettes? I said, you know, damn well, $20 is more than you need for a pack of cigarettes. So I tell him, you better bring me the change home. 
because you do not want your suitcase pimp, and listen to this, you don't want your suitcase pimp having any money on them. Because this is what they do, immediately they go to the strip clubs. And they start talking to these girls and hitting on them, telling them, oh yeah, I'm a big producer in the industry, I can make you a star, I can make you a star. In the meantime, he's sitting with some stripper chick, giving her my money, and trying to make her a star. So, I'm just telling you, do not let your suitcase pimp have money. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I'm not all about porn. I know some of you, a lot of you in here don't do porn. I'm sure you watch it. Who the fuck doesn't watch porn? You, you don't watch porn. Because you made the fucker. <laughs> I've seen you. I saw you. What site? Oh. Please. She's everywhere. But anyway, so I'm, I'm not really into porn as much anymore. I don't do as much in the industry like I used to. You know, now I'm, I'm a little different. I have my radio show. I do a blog. I do a column. And I'm starting to date. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's, it's a little different for me. You know, I never dated before. But I'm saying, you know, I think I'm ready to date. So um, I'm doing pretty good at dating. Uh, I get a lot of nice guys asking me out, real nice to me and everything like that. I only have one problem. And Gosh, maybe you guys can help me on this. What do you do when you have to fart on a date? I can't figure it out. Personally, what? Do you know You know it? You just excuse yourself from the bathroom and then come back later. Oh, because you know what I've been doing. What have you been doing? I've been holding it in. That's what I thought. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking, boy, you know, I'm holding this in all night. Sometimes, like, 12 to 14 hours if you stay over his house, right? Right? So I hold it in. So when I finally get out of the house, get out of his house, I'm on the sidewalk, nobody's around, I unload. I am like a fucking machine gun. And it's just, and like you said, it's not, it's probably not healthy for you. Right? So, I figured out what I'm going to do. Well, this might not be the best solution, but, you know, I'm going to tell them, look, we both fart. We're both human. So, if you need to fart, I need to fart, we go in the bathroom and we let it, and we let it loose. But when we come out of the bathroom, don't start talking about hearing the fart noises in the bathroom. Just let it go. Don't embarrass yourself or me and just let it go. But I'll tell you another thing. Another good tip too is, ladies, if you fart and it doesn't really smell that bad, it's a good night for anal sex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm Rebecca Fargo.